this is from, does anybody know? The 2012 Olympics, uh, which is a showcase of global competition that um, was all about inspiring a generation of youngsters around the world. And this particular moment uh, sent shivers down my spine. This is the moment when Sir Tim Berners-Lee was revealed to be sitting underneath an enormous house in the middle of the Olympic Stadium in London, and up flashed the message that he wrote when he created the World Wide Web. This is for everyone. And digital is for everyone. And sometimes all the technology and the idea of bigness gets in the way of us understanding that this is about people. This is about people, you and me, and what we do with the technology. That's the exciting thing. That's the thing that creates the economic opportunity. And that's the thing that inspires me every day when I look at how people are using technology. Learning from a video is just so much better than learning from an instruction manual. Even those IKEA things can be created from videos now as well. So we're learning things in, in new uh, and different ways. Uh, and I think what I would say to you about the internet is that it's still early morning in the digital world. So we're in a world where 40% of people are connected. All of the people in this room are connected more than once, we've learned. But 40% of people on the planet are connected. But by 2015, Sorry, by 2020, five years' time, 80%. We're going from 40% connected to 80% connected. In 10 years, pretty much everybody on the planet will be connected to the internet. This is a huge change. When those people are connected, what happens? Ideas come together and form new creative ideas. There's access to a huge global market that was never possible to access before in ways that we never dreamed imaginable. Every business is a digital business because all of us are digital consumers. You just illustrated that in this room. Every business is a digital business today, and every business, therefore, can be a global business. Every business can connect with 2.5 billion people, can connect with 5 billion people in 2020. And it's small businesses that are showing us, uh, that are showing us the way. Small businesses are leading the way forward. I spent some time yesterday talking to small businesses here in Denmark, and we've been doing an amazing program helping small businesses to get better digital skills. So in Denmark, uh, about nine out of ten small businesses have a website, but about three or four of those out of ten are actively using the web to sell, and that's where you really make a difference uh, in growth. So if you're a business leader, what does this mean for you? What do you need to do? This is my inspiration. Uh, this is Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat is uh, a star of YouTube, I'm afraid. It's not all about cats. Um, Grumpy Cat is a cat called Tardar Sauce. Uh, his videos have been watched <laughs> Uh, 18 million times, and apparently he's got a Hollywood movie deal. I think it says more about Hollywood than anything else. Um, but I use Grumpy Cat because I think it's, it's a nice illustration of uh, be your most demanding customer. So I know lots of businesses, large and small, who uh, if you walk into a store with somebody who knows a retail business really well, they will immediately point that actually there's a, there's a spot on the carpet here, this needs to be cleaned up. Over here, in the area where people can try on shoes, it's too congested, there's not enough room, we need to open another checkout. When they go online, they just don't know what good looks like. And so I really encourage everybody to pay attention to what the online experience is just as much as the offline experience. The guy from Geppel Toys, the owner there, said he was using his website as a hobby on a Friday night until he went on this course, and then he realized he could grow his sales so much faster online that it became a core part of what he did. And it wasn't difficult to apply all the skills and the experience that he had as a physical retailer to the digital world, because the physical and the digital world were the same place. And as a business, what can you do? I think there's, there's uh, three things I would say. The first is to show up. There are now all these new digital moments. This is, this is um, a slide based on what people were searching for using Google Trends. Now, Google Trends is an amazing free tool. You can find it by searching for it. Uh, and it will allow you to see what the world's searching for. But you can also compare the seasonality of searches for different words. You can look at how your brand's performing versus somebody else's. You can look at what's going on in different markets. This gives you real insights into where does it make sense to show up. Everyone's a publisher in this world, publishing your information and content. Everybody needs to be showing up. The second thing is to wise up. Every time somebody connects with your app, every time somebody comes to your website, that's an opportunity to learn something and do better next time. If you're in a physical store, you can see how people shop the store. And as a result of observing that, you'll change the layout, just as I illustrated. Should be doing the same thing online. Very simple, clear, 
often free tools like Google Analytics are available to help you make things better online. Every interaction uh, online can make you smarter. And then thirdly, speed up. This change that's happening uh, as the world comes online, as the world lights up with connections, is a huge opportunity to reach customers, to reach consumers, to reach people with your content that was never economically uh, possible before. And that means that you have to think about moving faster um, and have to move into a world of try it and improve it. Try it, learn from what's there, see whether you can improve it, uh, launch and iterate in order to tap into that opportunity. So those are the things I would say are important for businesses to do. Show up in these new moments that matter to you when people are actually looking for what you do. Uh, wise up, make every inter interaction an opportunity to improve what you do for your customers, and speed up. Take advantage of the opportunity of this explosion in connections uh, to be there uh, and to create economic value, uh, jobs, growth, and prosperity. It's fascinating to see you know, the, the businesses that are online and doing online marketing are growing four times faster than those that aren't, four times faster. They're exporting twice as much, and they're creating jobs at a faster rate. The internet economy here in Denmark is now 150 billion uh, krona in value, and it's grown by 50% in the last four years. It's a real growth engine uh, for Europe.